everybody, this is Leerbach, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode, people got kidnapped! In Winters! Yay! Or is it... Or... Or is it... Boo! Okay, I'm not sure how to feel about that, but at least something's happening, right? Right? Okay, let's just go... Okay, let's just go find these people. Okay, so, you go into Stonehenge... And you see this little brown patch of dirt that's not covered by snow? Yeah, that's really a hole. So we drop down in here, and we're in a cave. With the same music that we heard at the beginning of the game when the meteorite landed. Oh. Well, ooh, look! Got a metal eraser! Okay, so as you guys know, in the last episode, we got an, era an eraser eraser from Apple Kid's mouse. You, we ob obviously use that, and the eraser goes away. Um, yeah, that's that's it. So we drop down into this room, and as you can see, we have a new enemy o over there. Looks familiar. Wait, right, he's gone. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Eh, oh well. Actually, I'd rather not fight enemies after the crap I went through earlier today. Oh! Speak of the devil. Okay, so, here's the iconic enemy to the mother- to, uh, Earthbound. The Starman! So iconic that an entire group of, of Earthbound fanatics named their named themselves after it. Yes, I am referring to Starman.net, and they are awesome. Okay, so we get spicy jerky from this chest, and we keep moving in this direction. Yay! Paul levels up. She's now level fifty. Um, it occurs to me I didn't explain anything of how to fight a Starman. Um, they're pretty weak enemies, kind of like the human enemy of this area. And, um, so yeah, basically you take them out in most likely a single round. And I am going the right way, right? Please tell me I am. Oh, we're getting an item anyway. Okay, so that works. The Guts Capsule. Okay, so... <clears throat> we go ahead and give the Guts Capsule to Pooh. Since everyone else has already had two capsules, we'll give him another so he's got two. Um, that way the next capsule we'll, get, we'll give to Nest, and after that, Paula, Jeff, Pooh, and so on. Okay, so here we encounter Mook Sr. Um, pretty basic enemy. Dies as well. Now, the main thing, <clears throat> the main thing to keep in mind with the Starmen is that they have a lot of the same moves that you have. Minus PK Rockin', Starstorm, and the elemental moves that Paul and Pooh have. Um, so yeah, they basically have a shield, magnet, and stuff like that. The mooks have freeze, have freeze beta, which doesn't hurt that much, but if it freezes you, you, it's very annoying. Woo, Jeff levels up. Okay. Yay, Poo levels up. Um, one thing real quick, I leveled up everybody. This is very annoying. Anyway, I leveled up everybody, and I got and I uh, leveled up Jeff to have enough IQ to use, to uh, build the heavy bazooka. The heavy bazooka is basically a, uh, a super bomb, except that only Jeff can use it, and he can continue using it forever. It doesn't go away. So yeah, that's pretty easy. 
They're pretty good. Excuse me. Okay, so we keep it moving forward. Yay, Ness levels up! Okay, so... Again? Okay, so... Ah! Yay, Paul's up. She's on level 51 now. If only these enemies would stop hitting us. Oh, she realized she'll be. Or she'll beta. Two levels up. She realized life up Ome Omega. Life up Gamma! Ah, my first take I messed up a billion times with that. You know, you'd think, you'd think that someone like me and I am not going to have that present. I'm just, I don't know what's in it. You guys can check it out if you want. I just don't want to go there. Okay, so. Here we have the, the what looks like a factory. Or machine complex. Here is where we'll be introduced to a new type of enemy very soon. Um, I told this is the one. Nope, that was just a regular Starman. Okay, so here we have Starman Super. These guys are the oh uh, the best way I can put it they're the bane of many existence um the reason I say that is because they you remember that sword of kings I kept telling you about the one that the only weapon that Pooh can equip they drop it that's their one in the one twenty eighth item and <clears throat> Ow. That hurts. That's not good. That was not good. Ouch. Ouch. That's not good. Ouch. Ouch. Kill it before I die, kill it before I die, kill it before I die. No, 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 no! Woo! That was close. Okay, Jeff holds up. Yay! <coughs> okay, fortunately I have some couple life noodles that I can use on Paula. Whew! Okay, that was... Yeah, those guys, have, those Starman Supers have sh have psychic shields that protect uh, that protect them. <laughs> it hurts. <coughs> oh, it hurts to laugh a little bit. Mm. Okay, so here we have a real Starman or one-on-one -on -one match with the Starman Super. Um, basically. It's He's a much stronger version of a Starman, and his shield does make him an in, a big threat. Because now he can't use your psychic moves, and that slows up, yay! And, um, but, he does have those 1 in 128th item, the Sword of Kings. The only item in the game Jeff can equip, as I've said before, ouch. You know, like I said, the only weapon in the game that Jeff can equip and it's also one of the rarest items in the game to acquire. This is the only area to get it, and you can only get it during this time. Once you beat the boss of this area, there are no more Starman Supers. Keep that in mind. Uh, more, yeah, we'll go ahead and take one of these accent mice. Uh, just in case we need it. Keep that in mind, because once you beat the boss in this area, and we're actually getting closer to the boss right now, but that exit mouse didn't really give it away, I don't know what did. Um, this is going to be a little 
Broken trumpet, okay. We'll go ahead and give that to Jeff. It'll be in his Uh, did I, did I not hit give? I thought I hit give. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Uh, we'll mess that later. But anyway, we'll turn around and head up now. Uh, not, ah, just not was hoping there'd be no enemies. Um, okay. Let's see if I can just, because I really don't want them to be those, ma those big bobble machines and, or whatever, those pump. Ah, uh, okay. Talk to you guys in a minute. Oh, never mind. Uh, here we have a military Octobot and another Starman Super. Um, again, don't use side moves on Starman Super. If Shield will deflect them. Uh, don't think it, I don't think it matters for the military Octobot. But as always, the heavy bazooka works. And oh, interesting thing. Thunder cancels out, I believe, cancels out the shield. <laughs> oh, doesn't matter. Hit those guys all three times. And, of course, now Paul's going to take some damage. Ouch. That did next to nothing. Okay, so basically now we just bash them like crazy. Um. Yeah. So that one didn't that one didn't drop the Sword of Kings either. Um Just so you guys know Ooh, speed capsule. Just so you guys know, I'm not going to be farming for the Sword of Kings. Um I don't really feel like I need it. Ooh, this is a strange room. No problem here. What? There's a, of course there's a problem here. Look at all the... There's a hippie in there! A freaking hippie! And there's Doctor and Donuts! Jeff is your father and... Apple Kid and... Mr. T? Huh. Okay, so here we have the boss. Um, I'm going to save them for the next episode. I don't think I have enough time to finish them off. So, in the next episode, we're going to face off the boss, face against the boss. I'll see you guys later.